Fargo Moorhead is a place that uh, we love. We live here, obviously, Fargo, West Fargo and Moorhead. And there's so much going on in this town. So we thought we'd actually take a segment to talk about what we love. There's so many about things living here. going on. Every yeah. weekend is an amazing yeah thing to do, amazing event to partake in. And you're a little bit of a transplant. You came from Chicago. Yes. I've been here for about 10 years now, but what? I came from Michigan. Wow. I know, crazy, right? Uh, but there's so much to see and look at the landscape. Look how gorgeous this town is. The Fargo downtown, Theater. for instance, yes, the Fargo Theater, I wanted to talk about that because I love how much entertainment this town has and all of the events. We've got the Fargo Theater, but we also have um, Trollwood. We've got FMCT. We've got a lot of groups in this area that, you know, put their heart and soul into creating arts for the community. I also am fascinated by the downtown, how there is um, spray paint, like graffiti, really yes. creative painting and graffiti downtown. And if you notice, we uh, reported that the mural is finally completed in Robert's Alley, guys. So the yeah. postcards are up with the beautiful Broadway Square pictured inside of the uh, mural that is oh, right there on, on Robert's Alley. It? I love that. I haven't seen it yet. I'm super excited about that. Um, but of course, walking downtown and you mentioned Broadway Square. I love the addition of Broadway Square. I was yes. just down there last week and I was thinking, how cool is it? I don't know a lot of downtowns that have a green space that's also an event space right. that can also be like a hockey rink during the Multi -purpose. summer. Multi-purpose. And it really here was my thing with downtown before. Before they had Broadway Square, I didn't have a reason to take the kids downtown. It was like if I'm going you know, on a date with my husband, I'll go downtown. Right. Or if I'm with some girls, we'll go shopping. But once they added Broadway Square, I was like, you know what? We can eat. We can have a picnic there or some ice cream, yes. play in the splash pads. So it's really open that downtown area. Up Great there. restaurants for you guys mm. to get your munch on and, and like be a little foodie. I think Fargo is a foodie town. I agree. It definitely has those little pockets of um, restaurants that you would just never think they had the most mm -hmm. amazing dishes. We like to, sometimes we play uh, roulette. We don't often, my husband and I have time, just the two of us, but when we do, we play dinner roulette, which is like, we'll go to a neighborhood. Yes. And we'll just be like, what's here? Yes. And then eat something. And we, we've done downtown once or twice. Um, we need to come back because there's so much downtown. Super touristic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's not just the downtown area. Obviously, the whole city is expanding. Yes. And there's constantly things moving in. Lots of really, really good restaurants. Sickies. We've had Sickies on before. Yes. Oh, the burgers are so good. I love them. Um, Paradiso. You know, yes. Oh, we just were at we Paradiso. Just at Paradiso. That was fantastic. I know. There's just... So many things. Um, Stonetown Grill. Have you been to Stonetown Grill? Oh, no, that sounds amazing. It's cool. So you you go, you can taste some sauces to figure out what you want. But basically, you go and you fill your bowl full of raw ingredients, okay. pick your sauce, and they cook it for you. And it's, first of all, a lot of food. And then second of all, it's so good, partly because you pick your own ingredients. But uh, I loved it. I love it. We go there constantly. <laughs> That's one of my favorite spots. Um, the Worst? Have you been to The Worst? I've been to The Worst. Ooh. I've been have you been to DCR? No. They have some good brews there. Do they? And they have the best popcorn. Really? <laughs> yeah. They have like amazing events there at DCR. They have their own brewing. And I really like the Pal Al. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a really good um, brew. That's so I like awesome. to partake on the weekends. And I love too that, you know, we do have businesses that have started small in Fargo and that have grown up yes. um, Sickies, obviously, but then like Fargo Brewery yes. is just expanding, expanding lots of places. Um, one spot that I have gone that I love, I don't, I don't know if you've been there, Brewbird Chicken. No. I love that place. We it definitely have to feels write a, like a, a bucket list of places to go. We do. And that's probably what you guys should also do. Do like a little bucket list of mm -hmm. the things you want to see in your hometown or where you are residing in our viewing area. Mm -hmm. And do like a little staycation. That's the thing is a lot of people think about, I can just, you know, I can travel to Minneapolis or, you know, go to the Mall of America. We have a lot. We have a lot here in Fargo. In fact, our mall has got to be one of the last malls Amazing. in our region that is just kicking butt every day. Like they have always got events. They're always adding new stores. Celebrating 50 years. Yes. Oh my gosh. So shout out to West Acres Mall. You did it. Yay. It's very beautiful in there. I, I had the, mm -hmm. the chance to walk by their display of the 70 years and they have like a plaque for each decade. So guys go check it out. Find the history behind West Acres and look at the most amazing things that the historical value has. Yeah. Oh, so good. Uh, and in the West Acres neighborhood, obviously the zoo. Yes. Yeah, which is, they're always adding cute things. Um, I love the red panda. 
if I could take a red panda home as a little pet, I don't know that Gus would like him. But right. Remember we had Sheldon you. on, the turtle? Yes, the turtle. Oh, they're just always adding cute stuff. And then it's important to mention Fargo Parks District and yes. Moorhead Parks District, West Fargo. But gosh, you guys, you do an amazing job giving us free events and things to do outdoors with the kids. And, and then, you know, jobs. Jobs, small businesses. All the time. All the time. It's amazing. Um, but obviously we love Fargo Moorhead taking you to a little bit more of a national scale. Coming up next, we're going to talk about us and Louise and what's going on in the world of entertainment.